Roy Bennett here for 12points.tv. Now, you just saw a t-shirt here. Now, this looks very familiar to me. I mean, is this you? <laughs> Yes, that's me in my stage outfit. Saluna from Denmark. We're in Baku, 2012 Eurovision. Now, the one thing about this T-shirt I, I struck me first of all is, is the hat. Okay, you've obviously been asked about the hat before, but perhaps just for our readers and viewers, you could perhaps tell us the significance of the special hat. Actually, the hat um, was a hat that hung on the wall of my parents' house for many years and was forgotten by a fellow street musician called Phil Free from London, actually. And um, he used to wear lots of different hats and he forgot this one and I just decided to put it on when, uh, when I was going to perform in Aalborg and it brought me luck and um, hopefully some of this, the street musician spirit is in it and uh, will bring me luck here as well. Okay, that's great. Now, the street musician spirit, does that mean you come from a busker, gypsy type family? Actually, we're not allowed to say gypsies <laughs> anymore. Um, politically correct, I think we say traveler these oh, days. Yeah. Well, that's, that sounds about right. I mean, my parents were definitely travelers. They both left home when they were teenagers to travel the world and met in Guatemala, where I was born. And um, my father has been making a living as a street musician since he was 18. And my mother sells jewelry, makes and sells jewelry. So um, I would call them street musician gypsies, I would say as well, even though it's not correct, but they are travelers. Did you ever help them out on the street? So were you ever out on the street with a, with a hat for money singing? <laughs> uh, I was definitely, I joined my father when I was five on drums. Um, actually, on the first song that I ever played was Jambalaya by Hank Williams. Wow. And I would play drums and um, later on I started playing bass and um, started writing songs on guitar and I still play um, c double bass, uh, stand-up bass with my father who's a, a one-man band and we play country blues and try to play together every summer. What's the first song that you ever sang with your, with your parents? Well, I mean the first one I ever played was Jambalaya. But you, did you sing? Did you sing that, or, or uh, just play it? No, I played it. Which is the first song you sang? <laughs> the first song. Because that's a I, new I, one. <laughs> I, read, I, read, I read that your your influence is right from Beatles to yeah. Britney, but yeah, you know, exactly. which is which is the big influence? Which is the first sort of song that really made you want to sing? Um, oh, I don't remember. Oh yeah, I do remember. I've been everywhere by Johnny Cash. Really? That oh, was... go on, sing a little bit. Go on, you must. <laughs> I've have... been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. Cross the desert, fair man. I've been everywhere, <laughs> man. It's traveled everywhere. <laughs> I don't even you remember. You have been everywhere, even Baku now. Yeah, which is great. that is a new one. <laughs> now, I hear you've got a new album coming out soon. Yeah. And um, apparently, it's, it's quite a high profile uh, producer, is it? Yeah, is it? yeah. Um, it's actually the same team behind my Eurovision song. Um, it's Isam B from a, a band that's had success all over Europe called Outlandish. And um, Remy, who's a very well known songwriter, and Chief One, who's the producer and songwriter. So the three guys that, um, that helped me with this song, they're. Uh, they're recording my next album with me and we've been in the studio almost every day and writing songs and working on the album so and we're almost done so uh, lots more coming and your Eurovision song will be on the album yes oh, can we have a little bit of it <laughs> I should have known better yeah should have known better now I miss you like Sahara misses rain a change in like the weather Maybe it's true, maybe you're not gonna change. Wow, that's fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> I tell you, if ever you get on hard times, so you could go back, bus, you could be busking on the streets. Of course. Maybe busking back to earn some extra money. <laughs> There's definitely a lot of uh, promenades. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much Thank and you. good luck in the contest. Thank you.